Get ready to match the stars. Bill Daly, Brent Summers, Charles Nelson Wright, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Raver. Sweet, isn't that sweet? Isn't that a sweet thought? Thank you, Johnny Olson. And I love you too, my dear. On guard! On guard! Death to the friend. All right. Oh, that hurt! <laughs> I've never seen anybody knock the tip off before. I'm so sorry. Get on with it, dude. Sorry, it's all over between us there. Charles, what are you doing there? Oh, listen, Charles. So in case anyone wants a taxi after the show. What does that mean? <laughs> bonjour. Machelo. Machelo, what does that mean? Well, it just means bonjour mate. Oh, I see. A lot of chicks come on the boat, you know. <laughs> Charles has a show which he directed, which is touring America now. And recently, somebody, a friend of mine called me from Washington, said it was an absolute sellout at that marvelous big theater in Washington. I forgot where Eisenhower. it was. The Eisenhower. The Eisenhower, yes. It broke the house record. It, we're, oh, it's, we're talking about the Belle of Amherst starring Julie Harris. Harris. And she is somewhere in the America. Now, where now, is she? She'll be in Philadelphia for a month uh, in a couple of weeks. In, in a couple, couple of weeks. Yes, and uh, also, people may see the television version on Christmas Day. Oh, and that no nice. kidding. That's true. And what's wonderful about the show, it's a big success, and most of the money was put up by the members of the match game. Yeah. So thank well, isn't you. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, thank yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> it feels drafty in here. We're going to put up some money and get you some longer pants. <laughs> If you'd lie right. down, we could play hopscotch. Is Evelyn Collins ready? I'm ready. You're the champ, you know. You won. How much have you won? Uh, $9,950. Right. And you haven't decided what you're going to do with the money yet, have you? Yes. You have. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take my husband on a trip to New York to see his family. No kidding. That's a very no. lovely idea. Yeah. Now, Jim. When we come back from this commercial, you're going to have the chance to catch up to her. And you've got to get your thinking cap on and do some catching up, all right? <laughs> now, we'll... Uh... I am being manhandled. <laughs> Uh, we better fade to black because I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> Round two, final round. Tim, you got a choice, A or B? A. A. All right. Tim, the recreation major college student. Teeny tiny Tina is trying to attract the tidy bowl man, so she just bought a new perfume called Eau de Blanc. <laughs> you don't play. I got it. You don't play. <laughs> the other four do. That's another student. He only plays when asked. Blank. <laughs> Thinking about this, are you? Thinking about, don't say it yet, Tim. Okay. Now we're ready. Now you may say it, Tim. Teeny Tiny Tina is trying to attract the Tidy Bowl Man, so she just bought a new perfume called Eau du... Smell? Eau du Smell? You blew it. Ah, oh, Tim. Eau du Smell? Oh, mean smell. Anyway. All right, hold Eau du Smell, you know. Eau du Smell. Yeah. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell is driving me out of the... Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell. 
Yes, well, okay, let's uh, go through the formalities here. Brett, may you see your card, please? It was what you call your little play on your little words. Tidy bowl man, eau de toilette. You got the idea now, Tim. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Charles, got to match everybody else. Stay in the game, Tim. Eau de flush. Toilette, so that means Evelyn Collins wins the game. Congratulations. What the rest of you have there? Once again, six times for this lady. Tim, good luck to you in your college Thank career. You We've got some gifts for you, and I hope they'll be helpful to you. Tim Seppielli, ladies and gentlemen. So long. All right. Well, Evelyn, six times. Right. What's your husband going to say to that? Hanging around here all the time. <laughs> He'll well, love it. He will. Good. I'm a TV star now. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You got ten thousand and fifty dollars, and you're gonna have another go here. You can go up to fifteen if you do well. Now let's find out what happened. We pulled a recent studio audience, got their best response to this. Third blank. Remember, it's five hundred dollars if you match the most popular answer. Two fifty second most popular, and a hundred for the third. Whom do you call on? Uh, Richard. Third base. Third base is one. Charles. One of the more recent movies, Third Man Theme. Third Man Theme. Well. It's only 20 years old, but what the heck? Brett is the third one here. Uh, what about Third World? Third World. Terrible. Okay. It's a depressing answer, but it's an answer. Third World, well, it's Third number Man three. Theme. Yes, it's tough. And Third Base. Now, have you thought about it? Third Base. Third base is what you want. Okay. Let's see if we've got a third base in the third position. Earl, would you slide the high? There it is. Third degree is a very good answer. Very good answer. Let's see if we've got a third base out of the $250 position. Third place. Oh, those are two answers. Third place is hard. Yeah, right. Third place is hard. Well, it's very likely to me that it's going to be third base. Would you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's find out all together right now. Slide it, Earl. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Evelyn, you're going to play for ten times that amount now, or five thousand dollars, and to collect it, remember you got to match one celebrity exactly. I think I'll go with Charles. All right, Charles, you ready? Are you in high gear, Charles? No, he's driving a taxi, actually. I see. The Fresh Air Taxi Company. All right. Ready? For 5000 That all? That's it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good and blank. Good and blank. <laughs> All right. Okay, he's finished. He took a long time because he wants to make sure that he's going to match you. And I want to make sure I'm going to match you, too. Now, you think about it. Good and... Bad. Good and bad. <laughs> Let's find out right now what Charles has. Charles, she says that'll match you for the $5,000. Hello? Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. Hello, New York. Get ready for Evelyn and her husband. Hello! Now you got $15,500. Okay. Congratulations, Evelyn Collins. <laughs> You bet I'd be. Someone gave me $15,000. I'd be very happy. Congratulations to you for winning, and Charles, very well done, old team. Now we're going to uh, have a little commercial message here, and then you hurry right back, okay? It's Mark. Like it. Now let's all Maybe. applaud Boy, Patricia yeah. Van Dyke. Hello. Hello, Patricia. Yeah, it is. 
you have a yellow rose with you? Yes, I do. Why do you have a yellow rose with you? Well, a good friend of mine gave it to me for good luck. Oh. She's a very special friend. Well, that's nice. Where are you from, Patricia? From Midland, Texas. Yep. Anything else you want to tell us about you? Well, I'm married to a wonderful guy. I have two beautiful children, two girls. One is 12 and the other is 8. All and right. I love life. You love life? I sure do. More than anything. <laughs> That's grand. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, good luck to you here. Thank you. We'll begin by pushing this button and asking you to make a selection, A or B. B, please. All right, Patricia, here we go. You remember the movie Jaws? Mm -hmm. Oh, with the vengeance, too. Right. You know, did you see Jaws? Remember yes, that? I did. About, about the movie with the, big, the shark with the enormous mouth? Well, they're making a new movie now. It's called... Jumbo Jaws, starring <laughs> someone with an even bigger mouth, and the part of Jumbo Jaws will be played by blank. <laughs> New movie called Jumbo Jaws, starring someone with an even bigger mouth, and the part of Jumbo Jaws will be played by... All right. Ah. <laughs> Our music is so That's real silk, today. isn't it? That's real silk. No, it's felt. You better. Oh, it's, it's not silk, it's felt. <laughs> All right, here we go, Patricia Van Dyke. <laughs> Remember the movie Jaws about the shark with the enormous well, mouth? Well, they're making a new movie called Jumbo Jaws, starring someone with an even bigger mouth, and the part of Jumbo Jaws will be played by... No reflections, but Brett. Brett. See? Brett. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's wrong. Okay. She said the part will be played by No Reflections Brett, Bill. Who is that? Brett. <laughs> Someone I don't know. Brett has a beautiful mouth. A yes. nice mouth, yeah. I said it's showing my age, Martha Ray. Martha Ray. That's, <laughs> another, Brown that's another generation answer. Joey that's Brown sorry. and Martha Ray are the, the signs of... Uh, <laughs> Don't go on with it, honey. It'll just lead to trouble okay, and bloodshed. Right. I said Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell was the perfect answer. You know, Brett made a, a, a wonderful movie years ago where she was in the water. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of it? Give him the straight line. What was the name what of it? What was the name of it, Charles? Right, one, two, three together. What, what was, was the, the name, name of it, it, Charles? Prune Tide. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell. All Wrinkles, right. prune tied. <laughs> you blow it, honey. Didn't Forget work it. there. What do you say there, Lee Merriweather? Well, I'm terribly sorry because I said Howard Cosell, but I, as a joke, I wrote Brett so that she'd see her name, you know. Oh, but and I you didn't scratched it out. But Howard Cosell is your. Well, Howard, Howard Cosell is really a better answer than Brett because yeah. really she doesn't is. talk much. But not <laughs> as good a kiss. <laughs> Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell. Okay. You what do you say? You said no to reflections. Brett, right? Right. No, only vampires can look in a mirror and not cast any reflections. <laughs> I, Howard Cosell, and I had crossed out Brett. Wouldn't you know it? Does that count for a half a point? No, I'm no. sorry we can't do that, but it was a nice try. So there, Patricia, is your first rounder. Here we go with Evelyn Collins' first rounder, which reads, Dumb Donald tried out for the football team at Notre Dame. Do you understand? Dumb, dumb Donald dumb. tried out, right for, out for the football, football. Hey, hey, Notre Dame. Hey, hey. You are listening. Now, this is very shocking. Yes. I can do my Christmas cards and listen just at the same time. <laughs> Donald is so dumb, he told the coach he wanted to be the blank back. <laughs> oh. Now they're getting the dumbs all of a sudden. Now they don't. Yeah, perfect. There. Dumb Donald, so dumb, he told the coach of the football, football team, team. he, he wanted, wanted to be, to be the blank, blank back. back. Oh! Is it coming to you? Wait a minute. He wanted to be the blank. I got it, hon. All right. Which is the perfect answer. If not, you didn't hear it. Oh, well, I'll give it to you. Dumb Donald is so dumb, he told the coach of the football team at Notre Dame that he wanted to be the blank back. Now think about it for a second while they're finishing right, writing over ready. here. Ready. Oh, goodness, you are as dumb as Donald there. Dumb Donald tried out for the football team at Notre Dame. Donald is so dumb, he told the coach he wanted to be the blank back. Back. Oh, I thought it was back. Back. I see. You know, they have. Yeah, I know. Is, yes. Um, okay. Fine. Um, well, you think about it now. 
Read the whole thing. Read it aloud. You want to read it aloud? Go ahead. Dumb Donald tried out for the football team at Notre Dame. Donald is so dumb, he told the coach he wanted to be the blank back. Water back? The water back. Bad. Dumb. <laughs> you're fading fast, my I dear. Know. I know. <laughs> Evelyn, you're so rich, it doesn't matter That's anymore right. what you say. <laughs> okay. And the flashy Phyllis came I, right up with the <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she stopped flashing. <laughs> what do you say, Bill? He wanted to be so dumb, he wanted to be the whole back, the one-fourth back. No, he wanted to be the hunchback. The hunchback of Notre Dame. The hunchback of Notre Dame. Bill, I know. Okay, Brett. I was going to say front back, but I knew you would yell at me so loud that I went for hunch. Hunchback of Notre Dame, Charles. I think we have a maybe. I hope the judges, all 14 of them. Yes. <laughs> wet back. Wet back and water back. What about that? There's a... Well, that's what I call your miraculous match. What do you say, Lee? He wanted to be so dumb, he wanted to be the water back. <laughs> well, I wasn't listening at first. At first, I said scratch back, oh. but I went to Hunchback. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Dame. Yes. Okay. From the film, play your heart. <laughs> You're funny. Play you your hunch it. there. <laughs> Hello, Betty. I don't think it's such a dumb answer because if you played your hunch, you'd get into the game. I said way back. Way back is a good one. <laughs> so there you are, one to nothing at the end of round you, one. And <laughs> we've got a little buzzer for you. And then you hurry right back, see what happens next. Now, we're ready to carry on, go to round two. This is the final round. Patricia, you may have A or B. B, please. All right. Everybody plays because Patricia didn't match anybody in the first round. Norman's nose looks so much like a guitar that yesterday a complete stranger walked up to him and blanked it. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love doing this show. It's so good not to have to work for a living. <laughs> you got a pen that doesn't work. That's right, I got my name. You got it. That's right. Throw it away. It's in blood. That's right. All right. Everybody ready? To use my own pen. All right. Okay. Just Go testing. Ready. Charles will be ready in a second. I don't. I'll give you a pen that is. Okay, Charles. Okay. Okay, Charles. Now, Patricia, Norman's nose looks so much like a guitar that yesterday a complete stranger walked up to him and blanked it. Picked it. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. That little rascal, she's getting she on to us, it. isn't she? Go Perfect. ahead, Bill. I said, I don't know if this is close, I said plucked it. Plucked would it. Be, would that be close? Would that settle? Have you thought about that? Yes or no? No. Plucking your nose is not good. Okay. No. Plucking is not, uh, if it's a guitar, it is, isn't it? You don't well, because there's plucking, picking, and strumming. And strumming. Sorry. That's the name of a new group. Oh, not I this said, time. They always going I said like that. plucked or played. Plucked or played is not well, what it should get. Perfect. Yeah. 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 It's a perfect okay. answer. Hey, my answer. dear, what do you say? Picked. There's one for Patricia. Complete stranger walked up to him and picked it. I said pluck. Pluck. Yeah, well, she was going for a little joke there, play on words, you see. I don't like, like picking your nose joke. I don't either. <laughs> I said, my hey. way, I'd pick Raquel Welch's body and I'd pick... No, I wouldn't pick Julie Andrews' nose. Let her pick your own nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's another one for you. You got two there. So here we're at middle round two. Two to one the score. More coming along in a moment or so, but right now this for you. <laughs> now we must part company with these two ladies and we'll uh, welcome them next time. We'll continue this game. Two to one is the score. And you're going to have a shot at winning another game. That'll be your seventh if it happens. We'll find out. Listen, I have to thank uh, Bill Daly, who will be back next time, uh, from the Bob Newhart Show. And this lady comes to us from Barnaby Jones. She comes to us courtesy of Alan Ludden and Mary Tyler Moore, Thank who are uh, an item. You what? sure no one called for a taxi. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I got to meet her. 
you know. Yeah, all right, let your meter taking. run. Was but I convincing as the taxi man? Yes, you were. Man? Very good as a taxi driver. Now, what else do you do? Now, uh, I have the taxi now since 1954. Yeah. And it's a crummy deal, I mean, all in all. Yeah. And I think the end of the show is dying. No. <laughs> we, we didn't have a way to get out of this. I'm going to take a cab. Yeah, take a cab and go home there. Join us next time for Match Game 76. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production.